And tonight, we are also hearing from a nursing home expert on a national panel trying to fix some problems at nursing homes. ABC 17's Layla Mitchells live from our newsroom after speaking with the Missouri expert who's worked in nursing for 52 years. And Layla, the panel spent two years creating this report. Devin Lucas, Marilyn Rance, and MU Curators professor told me many of the issues faced by nursing homes are not new and have actually been around for several years. And she and others laid out several solutions to this in the report. I've spent most of my career working to improve the care for older adults. Marilyn Rance, one of 17 people on a panel created by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine, working to improve nursing home care across the United States. I remember as a young child going to a nursing home and the care that my grandfather received. Some of the problems inherent in nursing homes have been there since they began. The panel recently sent a more than 600 page report to Congress with recommendations to improve quality of care. While there are many long term goals, Rance told me some could and should be implemented immediately. In order to do things well in a nursing home, you have to have well educated staff, you have to have adequate numbers of staff, and you have to have them there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Rance said some issues facing nursing homes include adequate staff and using evidence-based practice. The panel laid out a strategy of seven key priorities. First, focusing on the care and making it person-centered, proving the quality of the staff and the compensation and benefits for staff. That needs to happen. Rand said historically, nursing homes have been underfunded by the government. The panel's recommendations will likely require lots of money at the federal and state levels and from nursing homes themselves, which could make nursing homes more expenses for those funded by Medicaid. You need transparency. The panel said transparency matters when it comes to funding to ensure money is spent properly to improve the quality of care. The next step for the panel is to implement the report by reaching out to nursing homes statewide and across the country. I also reached out to several nursing homes today to get their take on the report, and I'm still waiting to hear back. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. Layla, thank you. President Biden proposed nursing home reforms during the State of the Union address, proposing a minimum staffing requirement for nursing homes.